My name is Epsilon, and welcome to another episode of Useless Cum Laude. Today I'll be talking a little bit about the purpose of education, and granted, this is more of an opinion piece. It seems like a lot of teachers have heard their students protest, why do I need to know this? And today I'm providing a brief editorial as to why. Education works on several levels. Students are exposed to information and other stimuli, that help to enhance their mental, social, moral, civic, and physical well-being. In grade school, the obvious method is filling students with known facts and simple ideas about the world, while also mixing in the beginnings of proper social interactions. Playtime and recess allow for both creative and physical activity, and hopefully some responsibilities thrown in, like learning to clean up after yourself. As education progresses, what you learn becomes more abstract, specialized, and complex. Scientific facts become more obscure. Higher level mathematics seem to have little or no practical use in daily life. The arts come across as pretentious. And why does anyone learn philosophy? So some students may ask, why are we learning this stuff? We're never going to use it. And the fact of the matter is, no. You don't need to know this stuff. At least not all of it. But you do need to think. Education is exercise for the brain, like athletics is exercise for the body. Your teachers and professors are your coaches, challenging your brain, training it to become stronger. What you learn is supposed to be challenging. It strengthens and rewires neural connections in your brain to help you think about things in different ways. And somewhere along this path, you will find your strengths and weaknesses. Everybody has them. The real purpose of an education is not to fill our brains with numerous facts, but to empower us, to unlock abilities, to think critically, to become more independent, and to become knowledgeable citizens, not compliant drones to a system. If you know a lot of facts, great, it will certainly help. But if you do not exercise your brain, it will not serve you or society nearly as well as it could. Ideally, education is a pathway to unlock potential to reveal hidden talents, skills, passions, whether practical or academic. Both hold value. And it's important to remember the reason many students go on to choose one particular field of study over another, beyond interest, is because that is how they envision themselves changing the world, in whichever way they can. Albeit, reality may shift their plans a bit, but that intention is there. That passion, that drive, that capacity was all there. They learned what they learned for a reason. All those years of study and dedication. If a society fails to appreciate that, then the fault is on society. There are no useless fields of study, no useless knowledge. It's usually better to know something than to remain ignorant. Knowledge can help you. Granted, there may be some harsh truths out there that may be painful, but you will grow because of it. If an education does not inspire you to become curious, to be critical, to grow as a person, or to drive change, then there's probably something wrong with the system. Ideally, everyone should be better off having an education. You are not a brick in the wall. You do not come out all the same. Far from it. At the end of any educational career, we should all be able to celebrate our differences, offering our own perspectives on the world, identifying its problems, and coming together with our collective knowledge to help build a better future. And those are just my two cents. My name is Epsilon. Thank you for watching and keep thinking.